I wonder if there'll be an option to lead the troops myself. If there is, I definitely want to go this route. There might be an option to lead the troops myself. That'll be a, like, that'll, like, help prove that uh, we're not afraid. It'll be a big morale boost. So if I can get my weapons high enough, I feel confident leading the troops myself. That could be, that could be interesting. That is something to consider. I mean, I kind of want to cap internal affairs, though, also, you know? If I'm switching my suit over here... Alright, let's uh, cap internal affairs. Let's probably work on swords. I, I kind of hate the uh, the way the math of this game works, because to, to do this, like, optimally is kind of nonsense. <laughs> Takes It would take a lot of time to math stuff out carefully. Yeah, like, I don't want to do archery yet, because I could... If I wait one more, if I get, like, swords first, then archery... I'll be able to gain an extra level with archery. <clears throat> and uh, we really kind of want our luminosity up too. We want everything up. We always want everything up forever. We got those reflexes up early. More reflexes would be good too, but uh, we're not in position to get those up right now anyway. So yeah, why don't I uh, cap internal affairs um, and do swords? I think that's what we want to do right now. Internal affairs and swords. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lila divorced her second husband and refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead in a nearby forest. The Duchess of Lila and her son, the Earl of Io, have been estranged ever since. The Earl of Io now lives with his sister, the Duchess of Mead. After the last Duke of Mead went into seclusion, he hired a stream of attractive young servants who had to be frequently replaced after injuries and accidents. He eventually died by falling from a high tower window, which his family covered up. But was it suicide they were hiding? or murder. You have nothing more to learn about internal affairs. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. I thought I would have an option, but um, I'm glad we did mostly what we could. Your control of magic enhances your claim to divine right of rulership. We might die here, guys. This is, this is gonna be intense. Your lumen powers also disconcert the opposition, weakening their will to resist. Partial success. Okay. Battles are won and lost, fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. The final outcome is a victory for your side. Your forces sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. Arisi, the ringleader, is executed and the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Of course, there is also a cost paid in lives. Your keen sense of military strategy enabled you to resolve the affair with much less loss of life than might have been expected. Total casualties were three quarters of a battalion on your side and over half a battalion among the rebels. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. We failed our battlefield medicine check, but that's okay. That is fine. Your stronger position and strategy made you able to win despite your losses. Of course, there are no more rebel soldiers now. They are once more your loyal subjects. <clears throat> we crushed the opposition! The rebel leader has been executed! Okay, okay. <laughs> Make your baby boy giggle, Rough Galaxy, that's awesome. <sighs> okay, okay. We don't want to be angry much longer, but like one or two more times is fine. 
I want a battle. I should probably go play with my toys. Oh my. Uh, we want more lonely. So yeah, lonely and afraid. Perfect. All right, can we cap naval strategy? Not quite. It's so close, though. It's so close to being capped. So we'd have to do it actually twice to cap it. We can still get to 90. That's still three pips up on naval strategy. 90 is pretty damn good. Exactly, Seven Spirits. The opposition is crushed. Now let's uh, let's optimize our mood some more. Exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking naval strategy swords at this point. I really want to get... Uh, I need to get Lumen going up. I need, I need magic capabilities soon. I need everything. I need everything. Arisi getting a late birthday present. Hope she wanted an execution. It was it was her daughter that had the birthday, but close enough. The more you tighten your grip, the more duchies will slip through your fingers. I don't know. I think they're they should be afraid of me now. I know exactly what's going on, and I can crush any who oppose me. If they sneak in and assassinate me, maybe I can't stop that. That's what I gotta be careful of now. That's what I gotta be careful of. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's, um... Let's do naval strategy and swords. Naval strategy and swords, I think. Where's military? Yeah. You study the cost, time, and materials required to just construct new ships. You research blockades, both setting them and breaking them down. You study the effects of cannons against coastal installations such as enemy docks and seaside villages. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. You begin to work with a metal blade, getting the feel for its weight and edge as well as learning how to care for it. Man, we need to get to 70 before we, like, have any idea what the hell we're doing. Happy birthday! I got you a dead mom! Ouch. Ouch. Okay, what's next? Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everybody loves a contest. And I wish I'd trained my, my pull-arm skill more. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? <sighs> wow. I don't know. What do I offer as prizes to the winner of the tournament? That's, uh, that's interesting. Everybody loves a contest, especially disguised assassins. I mean, I like employment, but that's the easiest way to get assassins into my uh, my inner court. We've been doing uh, well, being ultra paranoid about assassins the entire time. Volksa, yeah, perfect. <laughs> but I also need to build up my uh, my army again. <sighs> Offer the winner a kiss. And and we haven't really spent money from the treasury, and we've raised taxes, so we can definitely afford to offer gold if we want to. So I don't think I want to do status and praise. I think that's the weakest option here. Um... I mean, I'm already going to be keep training my uh, physical powers up some more here, so 
employing them is is reasonable. Like even if they're assassins, I should be able to defend against that. I hope. The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Very well. I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. I think I've got enough divinations for this. A leaf killed by a secret weakness. A hidden threat. You continue up the stairs to your room, where a maid is waiting for you. Milady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, Milady. A merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. You tear open the brightly colored paper to find... Chocolates! Don't eat the chocolates! We just passed our divinations! There is a little card with a box with our compliments, the House of Kralat. They, they're, they're chocolates. It's not from there. It's not from there. We already know it. Okay, intrigue. There's something, there's something suspicious about this. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we already know this. We know this. No, no. Test for poison. But I can't test for poison myself. Oh, no. But I can't... Like, am I asking someone else to test it for poison? Or... But, like, like I said, we, we know for a fact that chocolate is not from where it says it came from. They, they can't make chocolate right now. We know that. We know that. Hey, guy a day. Um... Save it for later. Because I think testing for poison is just t me testing it for poison. I don't have the skills. I don't have the skills for that. Yeah, exactly, extra tricky. Test for poison. You detect no poison, and they were actually poisoned. So I gotta save it for later. I think I think that's the uh, the only option here. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. Okay. Okay. All right. We still we still want to be angry for a turn because we need we need more weapon skills. But we want Willful to get up, so what? Let's uh, let's get Willful up. This uh, this raises Willful and Angry, I think. Oh, this raises Willful and Lonely, but that's not gonna work. Cause that's gonna make uh, Lonely take over right now. I don't think it would have been Calandris. I think I lose the game if I test for poison. That's that's what I think. I am I am so paranoid at this point. Like I've uh, I made it past so much already. I wish it said what this was at this point, because I should know, but I think it's angry and willful. There's nowhere else I can get willful right now. Oh, ang uh, sports lower is lonely now, too. It uh, So yeah, that's interesting. There's a lot of things that only lower things, but they don't, like... I don't feel pressured at sports, but I lose lonely at sports. It's kind of interesting. Grunt dogs to 100 next time, for sure. Like we know it's poison. We know that the the that it's not. We at the very least we know it's not where it came from. So, um, I guess we just kind of do nothing for a turn. We want to sneak out to raise willful because we want to get willful up so we can start raising our magic some more. But we can't do that without raising lonely. Like that's where we want to go after this turn probably. But right now we kind of just have to pass. What's our best pass? We don't have a good pass, do we? Um, minus one yielding, plus one pressure. No, that's not what we want either. I mean, that's actually okay. Minus one yielding, plus one pressure. That's okay. Oh, no, then it, um... 
then we won't be able to see what Lonely gives us, but that's okay. I don't think we can care about what Lonely gives us right now. I think that's our best bet. We can't do everything. We have approximately eight battalions, two companies, and one platoon. Hey, Haji! I am so paranoid, buddy. Ridiculously paranoid. Greetings, Emerald Dragon. All right, let's uh, let's use this time to get more more weapon skills. Uh, pole arms. Just dump everything into pole arms. I think. Let's win us a joust. Oh, but I don't have archery. I probably need everything. It's a tournament, after all. I'm afraid of angry, Will. I'm not angry. I I, I was angry at uh, divinations failing earlier. That was that was the worst. And freaking when it, when foreign affairs failed, I was pretty upset about that too. That could happen, Danger. That could happen. So we could do either both or just one. All right. Let me uh, let me see how close we are in that. Let's uh. <laughs> So yeah, we do actually go an extra pip with archery. Obviously, we're not gonna with pull arms. All right, archery and then pull arms seems good enough. I could I could also just cap out swords and make that not a not a concern. We'd raise two pips on swords. And then, then at least we are sure to pass one of our tests. Like, I feel, if we have swords capped. So maybe I do swords and archery? Just get, like, we're gonna fail our actual jousting, but... We'll, we'll pass the other contest? That's not bad. Alright, so if we're at 78 without the uh, outfit on, we get 22. Perfect. Okay, so we do swords first, then archery. Let's, uh, let's do that. You practice drawing your blade and striking at short notice from a variety of positions. You learn techniques for thrusting your blade through armor to disable or kill your opponent. You also learn about advanced techniques for holding off multiple opponents at once. That sounds useful as hell. You have nothing more to learn about swords. You learn about caring for your bow, bow how to store it between uses, string and unstring, and check for damage or wear. You also learn that you should never fire a bow without an arrow on the string. You strap on protective gear and practice gripping, drawing, and anchoring the bow before finally losing a shot. We're halfway trained and we haven't even loosed an arrow yet? Wow. You practice shooting at clearly marked targets across a flat field. So, I can I can maybe compete. I, I won't make a fool of myself, is, is the, uh, the idea there, I hope. This is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against one another. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it would expose you to danger. What event do you wish to take part in? Ooh, I get to choose! Fencing! Fencing! Yeah! Fencing. Bring it. Bring it. Here the devotees of the blade can challenge each other to duels fought only for points, not blood and honor. You win your first match to uproarious applause, but are soon overpowered by more experienced competitors. Bullshit! Still, you did very well for your first tournament. All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers. As near queen, you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's Kevan, the Earl of Io. In one hand, he carries an armored gauntlet, in the other, a sword. My family's blood is on your hands! Eresi, the ringleader of the rebellion, she was his mother. 
He casts the metal glove to the ground with a clatter and raises his sword, pointing at you. I challenge you, LED. A life for a life. He's challenging you to a duel. Doesn't he know that you could burn him to a crisp just by waving your hand? Oh man, I can also just accept though. I've got the sword skill, but maybe... <laughs> See, if I burn him to the to a crisp, the, that's gonna terrify the townsfolk. I don't... Mm, mm. Ooh. Um. Um. We, I mean, we're like master swordsmen. We can totally kill him in a duel, but he might not fight fair. I don't know if he's gonna fight fair. Uh, well, he seems on like he he has a certain sort of honor. Like he, mm, I don't know. He did just like slit the throat of a woman in plain sight. Whew. Know the glory of battle. Refuse is not an option, Karis. Refuse is not an option. I can't let the people think that I'm weak. We, we, uh, or I can't, actually, we already, our people think that I don't think I'm weak, but foreigners might think we are, and they will attack us. We need to show them we're strong and able to take this out. He is dueling me, so I think, I think we could accept. I think that's what I, uh, well, but... It could be a trap. I mean, I know it's maybe a trap. I don't have sense magic. I can't. I can't detect a magical trap. I mean, I passed the magic check, so I assume I can just burn him to a quiris. Like, why would I pass the magic trick if I couldn't do that? Joel TV. What if he knows magic? It's possible. He shouldn't be a lumen, though, should he? I don't know. All right. Anyway, it's time for a for a break. So let's uh, let's pull this one too. Okay. So uh, we're going to take a quick break with this lovely cliffhanger here. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the stream. This is I'm, I'm having a lot of fun streaming this game. Um, thanks for hanging out, folks. There's the poll in chat if you would like to vote if we should accept the duel with honor or we should kill him with magic, burn him down for even daring to oppose us. I see merit to both options. Xenohard, I have max swords. I'm going to get I will meet your challenge! As the challenge party, you have the choice of weapons. Swords. Bring me my sword! The crowd seems to not realize at first that this is a blood match and not entertainment. Or perhaps they do and their cheering is all the louder for it. Kvan's rage fills him with great strength but makes him erratic and unpredictable. Worse, he's armored, and he seems willing to settle for nothing less than your, de less than your death or his. As athletics? I had a decent amount. Unfortunately, your exertions in the tournament have drained your strength. You can barely keep your guard up. Before you can begin to work out some way to safely forfeit, you have fallen. This is an athletics test, be test before I even do the uh, swords test. It's a rude game. At least let me pass the swords test. I think sword skill matters, uh, danger, it just matters afterwards. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again.